Hello and welcome to this week's video about the newly revealed Audi e-tron GT. Now in this video I'll be covering the questions of is it a better boy than the similar Porsche Taycan S and is it better than the excellent and also newly revised Tesla Model S. So let's dive right in. I'm going to start this video by talking and commenting on the Audi's design and to be fair it does look quite a bit familiar and that's because the previously released e-tron GT concept was nearly identical to this so the design is not a shock to car fans however this car is not as curvy as a Porsche Taycan so it doesn't have that sort of aesthetically pleasing look to it but it's far far more sporty and better looking than the plain model s however it's not perfect if you look closely at the grill you will notice that it's fake however it's overall gorgeous four-door shape more than makes up for all this towards the back the full width brake light takes inspiration from the rs7 sportback rear end and the slatted rear diffuser looks suitably aggressive without the need for any fake exhaust pipes as an electric car doesn't need any exhaust pipes at all the audi e-tron gt interestingly is as long as a q8 but it's lower than an rs7 this combined with its flat floor and air slicing 20 inch alloy wheels mean that it produces very little drag at high speed. At the side of the car you can instantly tell that it's gorgeous. I mean the way the roof line slopes down at the back, the long bonnet and the low stance and the beautifully crafted body panels such as the doors and around the wheel arches just really combine all together in perfect harmony to give this car a really really drop dead gorgeous and beautiful look moving on to the interior and you're instantly back to reality that's because the interior doesn't look nearly as futuristic as the exterior but it does come with posh materials ambient lighting however some bits have been carried over from other Audi models such as the steering wheel and infotainment screen. One thing that's not carried over from other recent Audi models and which is better than other recent Audi models is that the heating controls are now separate from the main screen as when they were in the main screen they were very fiddly and hard to use while driving and well done Audi for changing this. And also this being an electric car you can opt to not have leather and go for a vegan friendly blend of fake leather, man-made wool and trim made from recycled plastic bottles if that's your cup of tea. On to the more technical stuff. See the Audi e-tron GT comes with two electric motors. There's one at the front to drive the front wheels and one at the back to drive the rear wheels which together produce 476 horsepower. There's also a boost mode that ups the power to 530 horsepower for 2.5 seconds. That's the same as you get in a Porsche Taycan 4S. And also like the Taycan, the Audi e-trons GT rear motor comes with a two-speed gearbox. This uses the second gear most of the time, but it switches to first gear when you engage launch control to help you accelerate faster off the line. Now it might seem to you that this car is very very similar to Taycan and you're right it shares the same platform, has pretty much similar motors and other similar stuff as well and that's because they're both part of the VW group, they're both owned by Volkswagen so they have a lot in common. Anyway back to the e-tron, 
With launch control and boost mode enabled, the new GT will do 0 to 60 in 4.1 seconds. That's 1.3 seconds quicker than a rear wheel drive Porsche Taycan, and it's just 0 0.1 seconds behind the four wheel drive Taycan 4S. That's not the Audi e-tron models finished, no, no. You also get an Audi e-tron RS or RS e-tron. This gets a more powerful electric motor at the back. So instead of the standard 466 horsepower, the RS produces a total of 598. And with boost mode engaged, this goes up to 646 horsepower. And that's more than you get in an RS6 or an RS7. Audi says the RS e-tron will do 0 to 60 in 3.3 seconds. However, a prototype has been timed accelerating from 0 to 60 in just 2.88 seconds, which is insanely fast. Audi has also, unlike Porsche, fitted the same battery to all Audi e-tron models, including the RS which is a 93 kilowatt hour battery and that's the same size as the largest battery in fact in the Porsche Taycan which is a Turbo S and the lesser Taycans have a smaller battery and Audi says that this battery pack will give you a range of around 300 miles. Finally, the Audi e-tron GT may be a coupe, but it's still fairly practical. You get 405 litres of boot space at the back and another 85 litres of space where the engine would normally go. That means you get 490 litres in total, which is around 45 litres less than an RS7, but about the same as a Porsche Taycan. Also, there should be plenty of space for tall passengers in the back. Because Audi's fitted the e-tron with things called foot garages. These are holes in the battery under the floor that give passengers more space to stretch out and get comfortable, which is very, very clever. The new Audi e-tron GT will cost from around £87,000 in the UK, which is £3,000 more than a Porsche Taycan 4S. If you fancy the faster RS e-tron GT, that will set you back £120,000, which is 5000 more than a Taycan Turbo, but still £20,000 less than a Taycan Turbo S. It's also 11000 less than the price of a Tesla Model S. And that leads me on to the all-important question asked at the start of the video. Is it better or worth more than the Porsche Taycan or the Tesla Model S? Well, I do think it's worth more than the Porsche Taycan. But I would have the Tesla Model S over this. It is more expensive, the Tesla is, but it's faster, it's more practical, and I think Tesla have now finally improved the quality to meet that of Audi and other luxury car makers. That's why the Audi e-tron gets a 7 out of 10 in the final rating. Thank you for watching. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and share. See you next week. Goodbye.